Demoiselle, a member of our secret society that you can't join, sent us a video asking what probiotics are. Probiotics? I've never even heard of them. But they sound cool. Let's look it up. It's eating live microbes, and I am just not in favor of eating things that are still alive. Wait, cheese and yogurt have microbes in them. I am totally in favor of eating things that are still alive. Everybody has little bacteria and creepy things crawling around their insides and intestines already. Yeah, I know it's disgusting, but it's true. It's like an alien movie right in your lower intestine. There's battles and civilizations and some are overthrown and some take over and heroes and villains and... The microbiological world is very dramatic. Some of the little creepy crawlies are good to you. Others, not so good, because they make you sick. There are two different labels for food that claim to help the mini biological world inside you, probiotics and prebiotics. Probiotics are edible microorganisms that convey a beneficial effect when you eat them. The most common include lactobacilli, bifidobacteria, and yeast. Those are the ones to remember. They're famous. You'll see them on packaging everywhere. Prebiotics are foods that are indigestible to you and me, but are used as food by the microorganisms already found inside you. Eat up, little guys. I ate all of that for you. Proponents of probiotics claim they help regulate digestion, lessen lactose intolerance, lower cholesterol, prevent certain yeast infections, reduce the risk of bowel and colon cancer, and even stimulate the immune system. You mean I get all that just by eating little bugs? I'm in. No, they're in. <laughs> New scientific studies of probiotics and prebiotics are being conducted all the time, so their full effects are still being discovered. At best, these additions to your diet can help keep you healthy. At worst, they're just gonna wave as they pass by all the other bacteria inside you. See you out the other side. Another potential benefit of probiotics and prebiotics may be found in a kind of crowding out effect. Real estate's limited in there, and the more good microbes you have residing in your intestinal neighborhood, the less space and food and opportunities there are for the bad ones to hang out and start their own little community. It sounds disgusting, but in a lot of articles, people are referred to as the host. Host? Sounds like I'm having a party. Like a big microbiological intestinal buffet. Yeah, you don't want to see the menu. Welcome to my colon colony. I'll be your host. It's the stinkiest place in all of me. But I guess that's the way you like it. Our take on probiotics? Bugs are beautiful. Even if they live in the most horrible part of you.